How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a hopeful collab goodness in the form of uh, Untitled Art Brewing and Listerman Brewing Company. This be their barrel-aged Wisconsin Stout. Um, yeah, this comes courtesy of Mike from Jersey. Uh, he uh, sent off a bottle, uh, a bunch of bottles, a bunch of cans, because he sent me off a big box of beer that he picked uh, on a online beer mailing website, Tavor. And uh, I'm ripping through them. This is the third um, untitled art beer that I've gotten into. And I'm going to tell you right now. Kind of digging what I've had so far. Um, as far as this beer goes, it is a 12.2% uh, barrel-aged Wisconsin stout. Uh, barrel-aged imperial stout with maple sh syrup and milk sugar. Brewed and bottled by Untitled Art Brewing and Listerman Brewing uh, Wanaki, Wisconsin. Um, uh, Listerman is from Ohio. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I do not have a date on here. Label wise, it's cool. I dig it. And beer wise, that looks like a stout. 12 and change. I get three bu uh, dark beers from Untitled Art. Um, the first one I already did was a sub 10% milk sugar barley wine. I will make sure I put up all three of those, three of these at the same time. The second one is this one, this uh, lactose stout. Uh, maple syrup barrel aged out and the third one is an iced barley wine yeah 20 percent. so <laughs> that one i'm saving for last anyway dark malt ball colored head it's good enough i'm gonna tell you right now i think i'm really gonna like this beer and this is why milk sugar maple syrup barrel aging on a stout okay Four parts there. Stout, 12%. That could be pretty damn sweet. Maple syrup, pretty damn sweet. Lactose, hey, we're, we have a theme here. Sweet and barrel aging. Depending on what kind of spirit you're putting in there, they're calling it a uh, barrel aged imperial stout. I assume there's a spirit barrel involved. There might not be, but again, if there is a spirit, then it's sweet. This beer is not sweet on the nose. You know, usually you get this kind of big scent of a huge amount of sweetness not that sweetness is a, 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 a an aroma a smell but you can get the idea of that sweetness coming through in a nose and here i get a lot of roast components i get a lot of matureness on here i don't get a huge dose of lactose i don't get a big thing of maple syrup i don't get a huge burning spirit on here but i get a nice roasted malt and a nice kind of roasted component throughout the sure there's a little bit of vanilla in there and a little bit of coconut a little bit of chocolate you're getting some sweeter notes but it doesn't come off like that and especially coming in at pretty much 13 percent you'd expect at least some of that especially with how many things are going in this beer it's not happening let's dive in cheers yeah, it's nice man like this is creepily drinkable to the point where i'm kind of like side eye on that 12.9 or 12.2, sorry. The lactose does come off a little bit extra. I didn't think it was going to get there. But it, it, that's probably the sweetest component in the beer. Next up for me would probably be a mixture of the spirit. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a spirit involved in here. It's a lighter spirit. It's probably didn't spend a ton of time in a barrel, I'm guessing, the way this beer kind of comes off. But it's a soft little sweet bourbon -y, generic kind of whiskey kind of spirit and the beer's sweetness the maple syrup kind of comes in fourth it's there you get it but with how aggressive maple syrup can be and for it to come off this light ice it just kind of feels to me more like a, a fourth player in this beer mouth feels nice for me in the grand scheme of things i think it's just a little bit too heavy-handed on the lactose for me. I didn't think it was going to be that way. Based off of the nose, I thought it was going to be a little bit more roasty, a little bit more toasty. And while you do get a bit of that in a beer, the lactose, while not incredibly overtly sweet, and that's the thing I want to express here, it's not like a crazy amount of lactose. It's a little bit too much for me to go gaga over. But it's a fun beer. I mean, I'll grant them that. Yeah, that is a fun beer. You know, mouth feels okay. It's not super turbid or thick. Lends itself to drinkability, but 
12 9 I don't mind a little bit of beefy of this there. Each sip, I get a little bit more of that kind of spirit present, so I feel like there is a, a more prominent kind of bourbon in here that kind of comes out. It's probably a, a combination of getting a little acclimated to that, to that lactose and letting that bourbon come through. The beer is probably, again, like I said, a second or third player in here, but... You know, in these beers, I just want a little bit more roasty toastiness to kind of battle up, to push up against that sweetness. Even though in the grand scheme of things, like I said, it's not a crazy over-the-top sweet beer. It's a little bit too sweet for me, personally. And it's fine. It's tasty. There, It's lacking something. It's lacking, maybe it's cohesiveness, like all those flavors are present, but they're not working together. I don't know what it is. And while it's not a negative beer by any stretch of the imagination... I want something to make it pop for me. And I like this. It's tasty. It's fun. Just kind of missing that thing for me. You know? Missing something. I think that's all I got. Really, I mean, it, it drinks like the bottle reads as far as um, as far as the adjuncts in there. And there's a stout involved. Like I said, that's a secondary third player uh, with that lactose being number one and that maple being two or three. And then that, you know, um, or maple being, uh, sorry, Excuse me, the maple being coming up short at the end, and the um, spirit being two or three, along with the beer itself. Mouth feels nice. Beer's fun. Done and done. Isn't one of the better barrel aged stouts I've had as late. Even with me sounding like a little bit kind of bummed about it, it's still tasty and fun. It's not on the outside looking in, but it's not towards the top. Value availability, no idea. Please let me know what you paid, Mike, and anybody else out there, untitled art fans and. And in the know, please let me know what this costs from the brewery or locally. And leave you with, if you'd like what we like this. If you like your adjunct stouts to be slightly confectionery, but not overly sweet, but still sweet enough to kind of make you think about candy bars, but not really. Yeah, you'll like this. I think Florida stout people would like this. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, reviewing the books. Thank you very much again, Mike. Down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massif. If you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of uh, Untitled Art right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.